Hey, welcome back, Salty Crew. I'm Salty Trigger, and I struggle with procrastination. Just kidding. I mean, I do, but that's not why I made this video. This will be a quick one. I'm here today to walk you through the best process that I've found to set up Discord control through your Stream Deck. So you've been streaming on Twitch or YouTube and you've saved up and bought yourself a stream deck. If you're anything like me, you couldn't stop thinking about all the things you could do with it while you waited eagerly for it to arrive. And then when you finally got it, you found the software somewhat daunting for any ideas you had in mind, especially Discord control. With all the built-in apps and controls in the stream deck software, there is a noticeable one missing and that's Discord. Every streamer or content creator that I know of uses either their own Discord server or someone else's. So why isn't native Discord control built into the Stream Deck software? I don't know, but there is a way to set it up and this is the best way I've found to do it. So the first thing you wanna do is open up your second favorite internet browser. Not your favorite, this won't work with your favorite. And go to this site. Link will be in the description below for those that don't like typing. Once you get there, go to the releases page and download this file, the Stream Deck plugin, and run it. When you do, the Stream Deck software will ask for your permission to run it. Click OK, and when you do, this will install the necessary plugin that the Stream Deck software needs to make this work. Then you'll need to go into your Stream Deck software, and under Custom, you'll add the Discord Mute or Discord Deafen buttons, or both, if you want. After you've done that, you'll need to get your Discord authentication key so that the Stream Deck software has permission to control Discord. That is obtained by going to this website, and logging into your Discord account. And once you've logged in, you click on new application, name it whatever you want, and then click on OAuth2 on the left side. Then add this link for localhost to your redirects, copy the client ID number and paste it into the Stream Deck button properties, and then copy the client secret. The client secret is your unique identifier ID and don't let anyone else see this because with that plus four more keys, they will have the power to destroy the universe. They can control your Discord. Once you have that copied, paste it into the app secret section right here, and this is where the app ID goes, and then click OK. And then once you have that copied, paste it into the app secret section here of the Stream Deck software, and this is where your app ID goes, and then you're all set. As soon as you do that, you should see Discord pop up with a notification to ask for your permission to connect to the Stream Deck software, and you'll need to allow that. This permission is good for around 30 days, I think, or anytime Discord or the Stream Deck software makes a major update, it'll ask you again to re-authenticate, and all you'll have to do is click OK. And that's it. Now you'll have direct control over Discord through your Stream Deck, whether the application is in focus or not. Obviously, Discord has to be open for this to work, but even if it's not, or there's some other kind of problem, you will get a notification icon directly on your Stream Deck. It's a little yellow triangle with an exclamation point in it, letting you know that something's wrong. While this process is a bit involved and seems a little complicated, you really do only have to do it once. I did it about six months ago and it still works great. And like I said before, anytime there's a major update to Discord or the Stream Deck software, it will ask you to re-authenticate, but you don't have to enter all that stuff again. You just click OK a few times and you're good to go. So have you found another way to do this on your Stream Deck? Or have you set up something on your Stream Deck that was this complicated or more complicated? Let me know in the comments below. And please like this video if it helped you out. And I'm planning on making more of these tutorials in the near future, so please be sure to get subscribed so you don't miss out on those. And if you want to see stuff like this in action and how I've used it, then feel free to hop into my stream. I stream most Friday and Saturday nights on Twitch, link in the description below. Thanks, and good luck on your stream.